It's dark, it's raining, but sometimes you've just got to get out on the bike and ride, haven't you? I thought I'd try something new tonight, guys. And the occasional girl. Statistically speaking, that's 2.6% of you, by the way, according to the YouTube analytics. Um, yeah, so, something new. Tales from the Ring. Dum, dum, dum. It has been suggested to me by many of my friends and family and followers that some of my more lurid tales of life at the Nürburgring uh, might be good entertainment for YouTube. But I'm not the kind of person to sit down in the studio and talk to a camera because that's just not really my kind of thing. Um, my brain works best when it's got something else to do. Uh, that's not to say I'm a multitasker because I'm definitely not. But you know what I'm saying. So I thought, why not go for a ride and tell some of my virtual online friends about things that have happened at the Nürburgring. So, without any further ado, let us talk about the, <coughs> the, the quickest crashes I've seen on the Nordschleife. And I'm not talking about quick as in speed, I mean like, I mean like from zero to crash in how many seconds? Now, obviously at this point, a special mention must go out to uh, the king of the Nürburgring, uh, the gentleman who crashed the E30 after leaving the um, Breitscheid Bridge. Uh, you know, is that it? Are we on the ring? Kaboom! That was, that was mega. That was mega. Um, no, uh, I'm going to talk about actual crashes that I've uh, both committed myself and seen other people commit as well. So let's talk about my own crash. Uh, famously, uh, I did go out onto the ring uh, in my E36 about eight years ago and I span it out of the cones um, and smashed into the wall on the right hand side just clipped the rear bumper against the guardrail uh, the marshal who was there that night he had a quick look he was happy that the guardrail wasn't damaged and I got away with it and then for uh, forever until that car was scrapped and sent to the big scrap heap in the sky uh, that car carried a double bump on the back right corner um, at the height of the rear light and that was where the guardrail had touched it after I tank slapped it out of the uh, out of the cones and the reason why was because my GoPro wasn't working and it just turned off as I came out the cones and I was like beep 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 why is my GoPro turned off and I took one hand off the steering wheel to mess with it and lost control at the same time uh, so dumbass move from me uh, not a full crash just more of a ding um, next stupid thing that I've seen done was by somebody else uh, do you remember when there used to be uh, a two motorcycle ticket gates and two car ticket gates? So instead of the three that you have now, it used to be one on the left for cars, one on the right for cars, and then two in the middle for motorbikes. And subdividing that motorcycle lane into a left and a right was a steel barrier. Well, many moons ago, when I first started at Renfrew Ring, we had a lovely chap. Uh, we'll call him Dave for now. Uh, because I'm going to change the names and the nationalities of those involved to protect the guilty. And Dave decided that he was going to uh, go out on the Nürburgring, which was fine, you know, he, that's what he'd come for. He'd flown a long way, he'd flown about 12 hours to get here. And it was a wet Wednesday night. And I said, mate, are you sure you want to go out? Because here at Rent for Ring, we have a very, you know, comfortable policy of cancelling rentals. If you're not happy with it, then you don't need to take it out. We're not going to force you to to do something that might end in tears so you just let me know what you want to do but he says no 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 uh, I definitely want to go out onto the track you know we have a rainy season back where I'm from and uh, I'm okay with driving in the rain I said okay no problem and you know rent for ring we do everything uh, with a big briefing we set the car up and even everything like demist is on everything's super duper and you get in the car and it's ready to go well he spent a lot of time messing with the fans and stuff and fitting a few different GoPros. And eventually this chap's ready to go. But in the meantime, he's turned off a lot of the fans because apparently they're picking up on his GoPro and making a windy noise. And he's also turned off the demisting. So he sets off down to the track <laughs> in full mist. Windscreen absolutely covered in condensation. He's been sat in the car, in and out of it, making sure his GoPros are working. The track actually opened about nearly half an hour ago at this point. And he finally gets down to the track, doesn't he? 
and he drives straight into that middle lane and straight into the steel barrier. Well, the car was, I believe at the time, the deposit was with the insurance, I think it was about 3,000 euros back in the day, and he did a solid two and a half straight away. Uh, ran straight into that steel barrier, wiped it out with a Suzuki Swift. Ooh. And yeah, that was that. That was one of the quickest crashes that I've ever seen at Renfrew Ring. Uh, in racing, I've got another quick crash before I uh, head home. A um, friend of mine called Chris, uh, Ray over at Ring Freaks knows this guy as well. Lovely chap, super quick, really quick guy. Um, it was his first ever season in the Cayman GT4, okay? And it was the first practice of the season as well. Well, I mean, Chris won't mind me telling this story because half of the VLN paddock knows this story. He, uh, he went a bit quick, didn't he? First lap, eight o'clock, um, not eight o'clock, four o'clock in the evening on the Friday practice. And uh, about eight minutes into the practice session, it's red flagged and canceled for the whole day. And it's because Chris, had done his homework, spoken to a few people who said that the Cayman GT4 will probably, quote unquote, probably be flat out through the foxhole. So he did, he went flat out through the foxhole, first lap. Uh, at the top of the foxhole, lost control, car went over the fence, massive accident. Um, funny story is, uh, I never got onto track. I was promised a refund, um, but they only announced the refunds in German on the Tannoy about three race meetings later. They said that, by the way, this one's free if you try to go out on the first one back at the start of the year. So I never did get my credit for that, but never mind. Um, yeah. So there you go. Three quickest crashes I know of. Uh, I did the first one. A rent for ring customer did the second one. And good old Chris did the last one. And now I've had my little ride. I'm soaked to the skin. My camera's probably very, very streaky. And I do hope that this... Um, this new mic position has worked sufficiently. I will catch you later. I'm going to go down to this junction now and go towards my house.